What's up everybody, I'm your host Express Nier, and today I'm going to be bringing to you guys some really awesome gameplay here because I got requested to use my vector again, so in this game I'm going to be using the vector silence which also has a fast mag and it also has on there a stock attachment, the most underused attachment I think in my opinion. Not many people know that the stock attachment is really a sweet attachment, right there I just got like killed right from the beginning so I didn't really expect this gameplay at all but this gameplay really turned out for me in the end so I was really excited to have this game and I'm really I don't know like Black Ops 2 is kind of being bipolar right now for me it's cause there's a lot of changes that have been going on like I went away for the weekend not many people know this but I went away for the weekend and I played on PS3 for a bit with my cousins and I came back and I feel like the entire game was just completely corrupt from everything that I played on I was doing mad amazing and getting all these swarms and everything right before I left and then I come back and I couldn't even land one like one or two days after I came back so it's Wednesday now I got back on Monday or actually Sunday so I don't know what's happening with black ops right now but today since I got this gameplay I wanted to tell you guys it, couple easy ways to get some orbital vsats dogs and swarm because i was also requested that so i decided that i was going to put two and two together he was a quick fail moment for me where i try to throw the bouncing betty through the same window twice and i fail but today i'm going to be telling you guys some quick ways to get some quick kills and some quick points so you can get up to your orbital vsat which will hopefully lead you up to getting your dogs and also up to your swarm so the first tip that I have for you guys is to use some kind of explosive to your advantage. So my favorite explosive, in my opinion, would be the Bouncing Betty because of the awesomeness that the Bouncing Betty carries along with it. Being able to throw it a couple couple distance, you can look up and throw it farther. And also you can, it's better than the Claymore because you can throw it, in my opinion, but other than that, I don't know about the Bouncing Betty. If you like Claymores, if you're one of those guys that like to sit near a building, I'm one of those guys that kind of like to move around, so I'll use a Bouncing Betty instead so I can throw them in different places. So I kind of use it like a C4 and a Claymore at the same time. So I think it's really a mix, in my opinion, so that's why I use that. And also, a great way to get up to your Orbital VSAT is to capture enemy positions. So you just saw right there that I used that enemy capture point to get to my dogs, which was very helpful. And you have to be very cautious of spawn, so you kind of want to stay back towards your teammates, but also stay a bit away from them, so that if they do get injured, and or if something comes by, like a Hellstorm missile, or a lightning strike, that you can be possibly out of there, so you kind of want to be away from them, kind of as much as you can, but near them, so that you don't really screw up the spawn, so... You want to make sure that you're kind of in the perfect position, otherwise you're going to get your ass screwed over and you're going to die, and it's not going to be very, very fun, because that happened to me... Today, so many times, today I got 8 orbital VSATs, and guess how many pairs of dogs and swarms I got out of it? One. So this is the only swarm that I got out of today. Here I'm going to be seeing some kids boosting, just take them out real quick and show them what's up, and pound them in the face, be like, yeah, I got a swarm. But anyway, I got 8 orbital VSATs today, and I only got one swarm and one pair of dogs, so I was freaking mad as hell as anything coming out. And then I finally got this game after getting a couple more Orbital VSATs. So I was like, hell yeah, I just got this game. And then, awesome, yeah. So the next gun that I hope to be using is going to be the Scorpion Ever You See that I just had it out right there. I actually picked that up off the ground and I was doing some mad work with it. So I decided that that's going to be the gun that I'm trying to get another gameplay with next. I like to kind of move around the guns, but no one's really been suggesting guns to me other than the guns that I've already used recently. So I'm really hoping that you guys can actually tell me what guns to use. I'm really looking forward to using any kind of gun because challenges are always fun kind of using the same guns over and over again like the same SMGs over and over again is really boring like there's a, some people out there that I know use the same SMG over and over again they use the MSMC the vector the PDW and I think you just need like a variety of different guns so when I get a gameplay with a gun I record it and then I move on to the next one and I try to get a gameplay with that gun I don't like continuing guns so I really try to switch things up for you guys so I can get the best gameplay and see the quality of my videos just rising over and over again 
and to have this nice mic just doubles it up and I think it's amazing that I have this awesome capture card and I really wouldn't be able to have up to the 800 some subs that I have now without you guys so I'm just gonna be saving this swarm towards the second round so I can kind of squish out the maximum potential kills that the swarm can get and I really I don't know about swarms but I the, one of the reasons that I put them on is because it's the highest kill streak and I think that Black Ops 2 really went wrong when they put the swarm and the idea of getting less amount of points for kill streaks with you get kills with kill streaks then rather you getting a kill with your gun so I really think they screwed things up there and I really think that you or should have like increased the amount that you need to get these kill streaks or they should have just made them the kills that you get from your kill streaks not count towards your kill streaks because I really think it's unfair that when I get the top score streak in the game and I'm only getting 15 points per kill whoa like 10 kills of that and I'll have what like a hundred two hundred points like what is that like that's really nothing that's two kills with a regular gun or an enemy capture so I really think they screwed it up when they brought that into the the game where they're only giving 15 points for a swarm kill you know how long it took me to get this swarm not long but like only 10 minutes but anyway what I'm trying to say is they really screwed it up and my idea that they I think they should have had was when you get onto your kill streaks they either should count for your kills and you should get the correct amount of kills like a hundred or however many I deserve and then also it shouldn't count if it's not going to count towards your kill streaks, but instead, a hybrid solution for this, for the kind of idea that Black Ops 2 wanted for their kill streaks, is what they should have done is they should have made it so that every kill that you get counts as a regular kill. But once you get up onto your second round of kill streaks, it should count for what it is now. So I think that's a great solution for kind of a mix for maybe the next game that they bring out. If anyone knows anyone in the Treyarch connection, possibly tell them that. Or tweet David Vanderhaar this solution. That'd be great. I'm sure that's going to be really hard to fit in only 106 characters of a tweet. But I guess you can try for that. But this game was pretty awesome but that was the only swarm that I get I'm gonna be trying to rise up and I get my dogs right here so that was pretty sweet so I'm kind of hoping to get a double swarm but that's not gonna happen and I'm just gonna die from when the enemy spawned to my left because my team it got killed and massacred over by the sea flag and I'm trying to keep out at this sea flag kind of on the ramp side here of the B flag and I'm trying to keep myself alive, but then I turn around and I find myself killed by some kids that just spawned on my right. Like, oh my gosh. And I'm just thinking to myself, this didn't happen. This did really not happen. But anyway, I really want to get back to the tips that I was trying to give to you guys. A good idea and a bonus clip that you're going to see at the end of this video is kind of one of the main reasons why I enjoy playing Black Ops 2. And it's really about the thriller moments that you get in this game. So running out there and having a good time is really fun and all, but you have to play your strategies right to get them. And playing your strategies right, in the bonus clip, you're going to see me landing myself onto the B flag. And when I hit onto that B flag, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to get some mad points. And within... I'm going to take my score streak from 0 to an orbital VSAT in the matter of like 5 to like 10 seconds. So it is probably one of my favorite clips that I have ever gotten in Black Ops 2. And you're going to see why because this clip was just so insane and it made me so proud of myself that I got it. And I was just so happy right after that. But then, like, the game really did turn out to what I expected it to be, so I really couldn't turn it into a full commentary. But right there, you just saw me jump on the flag for a capture kill and the capture itself. So that's 400 points itself. And to get up into an orbital VSAT is 1,200 points. So you just got yourself, like, a third of the way there by getting that one kill on the flag and then the capture itself. So that's really easy to get, just one kill on the flag. So... I recommend doing that kind of on A and C. Getting on B flag right there was really risky, so I kind of just made a suicide attempt to kind of hopefully get some kills in there and kind of get out because I didn't want to stick in there too long, otherwise I knew I was going to die. A typical situation that happens normally to COD players is a C4 will come in onto the B flag and just ecstatic boom. Like, I've seen that happen so many times where the kill feed is just blown up by one C4 that 
from one guy that kills everyone in the B flag because everyone rushes in there. So you really have to protect yourself when you get into that B flag. But this game's going to be coming to an end. If you guys could leave me a like rating, that'd be really awesome. And tell me what guns you want to see me using in my next gameplays and stuff like that because I love to hear what you guys hear to say and stuff like that. So stay tuned for the bonus clip right after this gameplay. This is X Preston signing off. See you guys later. It is time for the bonus clip. Hostile care package inbound. Losing A. Securing B. We lost A. B secure. Orbital V sat awaiting orders.